I'm Liz Peitzman with Satterton Connects. We're back with another preview to get you ready for Third Friday starting August 20th. Today we're featuring Art on the Hill Gallery, Tribe Kitchen Design Company, and your favorite ice cream destination, Downtown Street. Hey, I'm Caleb and I'm the Director of Operations here at Downtown Scoop. Downtown Scoop opened in 2015 and since then we've been loving serving the community here in Souderton. My parents, Kevin and Angie Haynes, bought it in 2018. From the original owners, Tiff and Greg, we love you guys. We're really excited to be right here in the historic heart of downtown Satterton. At Downtown Scoop, we really value sourcing everything as locally as possible. And so we source our ice cream from Uncle Dave's Creamery in Yardley, Pennsylvania. We order it on a Sunday, get it on a Wednesday. So that means if you're eating ice cream, it's typically made the week that you're eating it, which is awesome. In the case, at any time, we have about 12 flavors. One of them is a vegan option for anyone of you who can't have dairy. We get that from the Franklin Fountain down in Philadelphia. And so we try to rotate out our flavors just about every week. So each time you come in, you'll be trying something new. We have our Lancaster Sunday, which is a Landis Bakery cinnamon bun right in Telford. We get their cinnamon bun and has two scoops of vanilla ice cream topped with locally made whipped cream and cinnamon. Another thing that we love here at Downtown Scoop is our floats. We get our soda from A Treat, which is made just south of Allentown, and we put two big scoops of vanilla ice cream, top it off with whatever soda you'd like. We have over 12 flavors right now. Downtown Scoop has a mobile trailer that we take around all of Montgomery and Bucks County, so if you're looking for a private event, we have a great option for you if you can't make it here to the shop. A couple of ways that we're engaging with the community this summer would be one, in August, we're coming back for Third Friday and we're really excited to have live music right outside the shop here on West Chestnut Street. Under the Chestnut Street overpass, we're gonna have kids games and the fire company will be out and our mobile trailer will be down there as well. One of our core values here at Downtown Scoop is that we love to live generously and give back to our community. And one way that we're doing that is by hosting fundraisers here on Thursdays during the summer. If you're involved in a local nonprofit and you're looking to host a fundraiser, email us at info at downtownscoop.com. You can do that to book a fundraiser or a trailer and one of our owners will get back to you promptly. During the summer months, we have extended hours, and so that means we're open on Sunday from 3 to 9, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday from 3 to 9, and Friday and Saturday, we're extending it for the weekend 3 to 10 p.m. After Labor Day, we go back to our fall hours, so take a look at our social media. You can follow us at Downtown Scoop to find out what our fall hours will be after Labor Day. So I just want to say thanks so much for checking us out at Downtown Scoop. And I want to remind you, Third Friday isn't starting in person until August, but that doesn't mean that you can't support local businesses in the meantime. We're going to be celebrating a virtual Third Friday this July on the 16th. So you can come out in person or you can order curbside and we'll bring it out to your car. and I took over Art on the Hill four and a half years ago. When they decided to close down, I couldn't see it close. There's so much talent in this area. I knew I knew a lot of artists that we could keep it going, breathe some new life. The rest is kind of history, as they say. We have artists in every medium, oil, watercolor, and then prints of those. Stained glass and mosaic glass, pottery, porcelain, raw clay looking pottery. Functional to decorative. Photography, we have illustration. We have wood in many ways. Wood assemblage, wood bowls, wood vases, wood sculpture. Concrete pieces, vases, dishes, posters, upcycled items. One of those items is the bluestone chess checkers. Obviously, that stone's outdoors, so that can be sitting out year round. Many of the jewelry pieces that we offer are made from upcycled pieces. Everything in the gamut for jewelry from found objects all the way to fine jewelry. Everybody is within about 30 miles. Many of them choose to have this be the only place they show. They're busy doing art festivals 
and they have a totally separate life from their art world. And being able to bring that quality of art to Souderton uh, is a big thing and people are always surprised, especially after Third Fridays. Uh, coming into our small suburban town and realizing what we have to offer. We try to be in a very reasonable market for fine art, uh, all the way down to every gift that people may need. One of the things we try to do is give back to the community. One of our artists, Anna, that makes bags, donates 15% of all her proceeds uh, to childhood literacy. That sets the stage for us to then partner with her and we donate a portion of different artists, different times, and during the week of Third Friday that we're open to Arc Animal Rescue, which is over in Chalfont. What I try to do is keep the art world alive in our small little hamlet here. We were very proud during 2020 to uh, not only survive, but thrive after reopening. Uh, we were voted for 2020 the best art gallery in all of Montgomery County, which for a small town and a small gallery was a huge, huge honor. Going into 2021, we kept that in Souderton locally and the gallery across the street, Exhibit B, took it for 2021. So, uh, you know, for a small town to have two galleries of this caliber, uh, I think is what makes our Third Friday so intriguing for people coming out. And to see those pieces that are one of a kind coming in before someone else snatches them up, you can follow Art on the Hill. We are on Facebook, Instagram, and our website at Art on the Hill Gallery. Third Fridays has given us and the whole town of Souderton a huge exposure to people who drive through here every day, going to work and realizing that we are a wonderful place in the suburbs and that we are very suburbia proud. Hello, my name is Shannon. I own Tribe Kitchen Design Company located here in Sauterton. We are a kitchen and bath design studio specializing not just in kitchens and baths, but also interior spaces as well. I chose Sauterton because it's an adorable little town. I think it has a ton of potential and I just saw an opportunity. So we are a family run business. So again, we do uh, kitchen renovations, bathroom renovations, and we also do interior design. Um, we, we are a one-stop shop here. So we, from start to finish, uh, I'm, I'm with you along the way. I'm a big believer in the importance of hiring a designer because we really are an advocate for the customer. Um, when you have a customer who's blindly ordering products or um, right now with timelines and lead times, it's just best to have somebody to kind of hold your hand through that process and really advocate because um, a customer can really get pushed aside and lose priority and um, time at the end of the day, we just want timelines to be met and um, I, I do believe as a designer we help them achieve that. Outside of being creative, you know, the client experience is extremely important to me, hence the name Tribe. Um, I look at it as we all sit around a big table and we work collectively together. And it requires a lot of teamwork, a lot of communication, a lot of understanding, um, and a lot of patience, especially with where we're at um, on the cusp of coming out of a uh, pandemic. I want the client to walk away saying that they had such a clear and good process and a lot of fun too. Because I think when somebody's space is turned upside down, uh, nerves get, you know, rise and they're spending a lot of money and it's really easy to lose sight of the fun of it. 
We work within every budget, whether it's more conservative or larger. I want to be available to the, the community, everyone in the community. So yes, I want the, the experience to be amazing, as well as the end product. We're really excited to be a part of the next Third Friday in person in August. So please come out and visit us and come check out our beautiful space and say hello. Come follow us at tribekitchenco.com um, as well as visit us on Instagram and Facebook. Make sure to go to thirdfriday.com for event details and follow us at Third Fridays and Saturday Connects we can't wait to see you at Third Fridays in Southerton.